Hello Libra, happy 2019. So I've been shuffling these cards. Each card is going to represent each month, 12 cards. So just take notes, keep track. All right. All right, so the, we're starting off with the magician. Wow, nice. Then the death card. Seven of Coins, King of Coins, Queen of Swords, Five of Coins, Three of Coins, Ace of Coins, a lot of coins, Judgment, Strength, The Hermit, and Page of Cups. Okay, so the beginning energy for the year is the magician so this is a lot of high hopes uh libra so believing in yourself knowing knowing so it's past believing it's just knowing and really wanting this year to be a great year okay and the january is starting off huge okay and believing in yourself and knowing that you can manifest whatever it is. So thinking of your goal and just knowing, yes, I can manifest this. This can happen. This is where I'm going. This is where I need to be. And really starting off the year really powerful. I'm just taking a second to see what the element is. So I feel like it is, I want to say it's sword, but it's more of earth, really. And the, the magician is all of these elements, right? So you have the seven of coins, you have the king of coins, you have five of coins, you have three of coins, ace of coins, that's five already. So the energy for this year for Libra is all about finding balance and, con and control and balance and understanding of all the five elements. Earth, air, fire, water, spirit, right? And also metal, if you want to take out the spirit and say metal. But you, you're seeing that you're starting off the year powerful and strong as a magician in January. And knowing that you're going to control this year. And from the looks of all the cards, it's like whatever it is, the, the most challenging one is, is, is February, the death card. But it's like a powerful uh, year right of you really holding on to your power and, and and moving yourself forward now february represents death it could be a transformation like something changing or it could be physical death of someone some some energy of that source so whatever that is that change is needed so that the seven of coins can come in okay so that transformation that end of something maybe it's, it's ending a way of thinking or really you know sometimes in january if it's not death and we're reading it for something else like someone that you know or whatever right so the magician card represents that power that strength and then something has to change in order for you in in february something has to change in order for february to be the seven of coins and the seven of coins is when you're working so so much to create something and then you have to wait for the other um part of that process to be completed so january february and march is about getting stuff done so financially you can sell it that you can earn make your um earning back from what you've put in a lot of time energy money into right so january february march april has the king of coins and this is uh a relaxed mind because you have earned so much and you've prospered so much from what you've done in the last three months um believing in yourself ending what needed to, to be ended working and focusing and now you are the king of coins and you're studied you know what you're doing but in this position, you still have more to learn, okay? And then the next month brings in the Queen of Swords, which is now you really vocalizing what you want and still a lot of learning to do. She's like, you know, has one foot on the stack of books, right? So it's like a mastering and understanding of something and then using that knowledge 
to um, move yourself forward. Now, the interesting thing is that in June, you have the five of coins. So maybe money will be rough then. Maybe you'll feel like you're an outsider to your group or to whatever, right? And But then, you know, maybe you'll have less. I feel like it's more less money, okay? Or less money to really spend freely because that month you're probably maybe you invest in something or whatever the situation is but july you have the three of coins where you're where you're making more money so be mindful of money this year and and how you're handling it okay june to july and you're gonna get that back by having more work coming in and then for august you feel like you're on that prosperity road with that ace of coins it's like okay i'm back on track i'm back on track i'm back on track this is great okay and things are working great for you now the judgment card comes in in september and it could be other people being jealous judging you maybe you're judging yourself on things that you've done um but remember let's go back to july um with the three of coins is um you know reflecting for that month especially in june i think you'll do more reflecting in june because you got hit with that five of coins and then for july you're back on track so back to the judgment card as a major arcana this is about judgment either you're judging yourself or someone else is judging you um maybe this is um you know um like uh, your time is up with something and you have to pay it back you could look at it that way too uh, so make sure you're making good decisions as best as you can in the start of the year. Then you have the strength card, Leo's card. Find someone that could help balance you off, that can give you knowledge that you don't have already. This is going to be really useful, really helpful. Okay, getting the, the knowledge that you need. Okay, and this person can really help you with that. And that's very important. Okay, I'm just going to go up a little bit. So making sure that you get the help that you need and um, if that's a good thing to know when you need that help and go after it and get it and that will balance off your already strength already so making sure that you do that okay and um, you keep your energy up keep your strength up keep yourself motivated and going the hermit card for November is saying that there's more for you to learn to know and to grow and take advantage of these opportunities maybe even a quiet time using November as a time to relax so maybe um, with the strength card for that month in October you're getting a lot of work done and doing you know doing things so that maybe November could be more relaxing month for you okay um, for some of you it might be December would be your relaxing month but maybe by by um, by November you will um, pay off what you need to pay off that's majority of something um, the hermit card is about um, time away to, to study, to reflect, to know, uh, gaining knowledge, okay? Um, and just seeing what what it is that you need to learn or, 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 or need to know. So it's a, good, it's a good time to reflect, okay? And a good time to reflect before uh, the end of the year, all right? Um, it's a good time to, for you to, guide yourself even okay um it's like getting yourself organized and setting boundaries and setting limitations with people too and yourself um and gaining new knowledge through silence and reflecting okay so that's a really good um a good opportunity and you're ending the year with water with page so the page of uh cups so it's a real soft time for you, a real relaxing time for you, maybe spending this, this time doing something that you enjoy, that brings you happiness, make you feel youthful. Um, it could represent an engagement or a wedding, um, something of a message of love, um, something that's beautiful, you know, being around someone you love, someone you care about. Um, you know, you're giving your all. You're, you're doing sweet things for someone that you love. So December is like a beautiful time, a youthful, happy time. And just surround yourself with people that make you happy. It doesn't have to be a big party. It could be 
um, just going off and being with the person that you care about and or you know and just being in that element so just know that this year is a 12 year you break it down to a three year so look into what the number 12 means for you what you can piece through it um, the, but the three year is like creativity so being creative and expressing yourself and 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 looking at your social uh, interaction and seeing how good it is it good for you is it not good for you you know it's different than the 11 the the, the 11 two year of, of uh, 2018 where we saw a lot of big um, messages so I'll do a, a yearly reading on that I'll probably post that up tomorrow but it's a three year of creativity and, and inspiring yourself so from this reading how can you inspire yourself right and and going back to so sticking with the three year you know creativity your socialization how can you um, be creative and inspire yourself throughout the year no matter what you're going through you want to find inspiration in three but what I want to share with you guys here is since you have more uh, pentacles or our uh, coins the old way of calling them coins it's like a merchant type of uh, card right so building yourself this year maybe building yourself for your retirement some of you or building yourself for maybe this year you can think of building a home for your future retirement or setting something up that way you don't have to be a merchant for the rest of your life if you're in that uh, age category or building yourself if you you're in that working stage so the pentacles represent or the coins pentacles represent um, money security goodness physical world the physical world merchant class the working class uh, uh, trading and shipping and traveling and and the gains from your work the riches from your work so see how that pans out for your year please click like on the video um, and uh, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Happy 2019!